everyone, it's Campbell. Um, I'm going to take you through exactly what I play when we play Forever We Ride the Stars live. Okay, so during the course of this song, there's three main sounds that I use. Uh, one being my normal kind of chord sound, brassish. Uh... Another being a really kind of synth, wah, almost talking kind of. And last but not least, my usual solo sound, which is sort of somewhere between a synth and a guitar, I suppose. Um... The opening section of the song is probably the easiest part of the whole song. I'm just doing basic chords on my brass sound. Um, so I'll just play through it now, so... second section of the intro is where I pick up the lead as well. I keep the chords going in my left hand by creating a split, so I've got my synth sound up the top, and my normal brass sound down the bottom. So I keep the chords going and now do the main melody. Verse section is another pretty simple section. Um, I just use one hand. I'm just basically mimicking exactly what the guitars are playing. Um, so it's just. Chorus is where things get fun. So on the recording, I use two hands to do the arpeggios at the top. Um, but live, I really need to be keeping these chords going down the bottom too. So I've done a simpler pattern for the arpeggios up top, and that allows me to split the keyboard and use my left hand for the chords and keep everything going all at once. So all together at full speed. So I'll break down the chorus a little, a little bit more, show you exactly what I'm doing there. Um, so the arpeggios are pretty simple, I just start on the top note, down to the bottom, back up to the top. I end on the bottom note and then jump to the next one. So for instance, when I'm going from D minor to B flat major. I use inversions on the arpeggios to get them all as close as possible so I don't have to jump around too much. Um, and then the left hand is just doing the triads, um, again inverted like the uh, arpeggios are up top. So play through the whole chorus slowly, so start with D minor, B flat major, F major, C major, D minor. Thank you. 
B-flat, man, major. And then it's C major, but the first sort of pattern is more like an inverted A minor, so it's a... So that again is... And back to D minor. B flat major. F major. C major. And then now, for the, the last couple of notes, we go uh, B flat minor, major. <laughs> Last in minor, I just hold the note. Uh, next section is the sort of post chorus riff we use to get back to the verse. And uh, Ed plays one part of the guitar line and Josh plays the other. Uh, and I couldn't decide which one to do, so for most of it, I do both. Um, and then the little quick run at the end, I just do, I think I'm copying it by memory. Um, so, at full speed. Oh, I, I should also mention this is another uh, sound that has a split in it. So I've got my normal lead sound up top. And I've got that synth sound down the bottom. Um, so again, the pattern slower. keyboard solo section which comes just after the guitar part um, it's written basically using a technique where I move from move notes across from my left hand across to my right so uh, an example of a pattern would just be like that sort of thing and it's just that repeated and it just gradually moves up the keyboard um, until we reach a sort of more tapping section where I go and then finish off. So playing it in full. Um, and then slow down. Uh, it's essentially just running off E minor first. Then running up, pretty much moving everything up to F, up to G, once I hit the top of G I now move to the tapping part, so, and then just a B major triad down. All right, B minor. So the next main section is what I call a call and answer bit. So the guitars go off on their little da 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 riff, and then I pretty much echo it, or echo a harmony line a bar later. Um, so to play my part through in full, so.
part's probably my favourite moment in the song, is where Ed and I are both doing the arpeggios together. Um, so I play pretty much exactly what I play in the chorus, uh, however now I'm doing it an octave down and using my main lead sound. The final section of the song is a little lead harmony line that I get to play with Josh, which is rare. I, I normally play with Ed, and uh, Josh and I have a lot of fun com having a competition of who can do the vibrato the fastest. Um, I don't know who wins. I actually think he wins. But, anyway, um, it's basically just four notes, the whole pattern, um, as follows. to the end of the song.